So this is covering the new class roster feature, which is now uh, live in all of our Zybooks. You'll notice it's in the reporting tab. Um, if you had it before, it was in the My Class tab. So we moved it to reporting. It seemed to fit there better. Uh, and there's also this View Analytics tab. They cover a lot of the same material. This one is more um, graphical. And this is a roster, as it indicates right here. So if we go over to the roster, uh, I'll just cover these basically. So you can search by name. So if I'm looking for a particular student in a long um, roster, that's easy enough to do. Um, if you have more than one section, you can choose here. You can view whole chapter data or uh, section by section. And the metrics we have are completion percentage and time spent. So you can obviously just toggle these and uh, take a look at that. Um, you can choose which chapters you're looking at here. So if you want to look at all of them. And then we also have this anonymize. If you wanted to share this with your students, these numbers, by the way, are not student numbers from an LMS or from uh, the institution, but these are Zybooks assigned numbers, so they shouldn't be recognizable. So if you wanted to share this with students, you could. Um, and then I'll quickly show something um, I saw somebody do where, and this will show another feature, each of these columns is sortable. So if I wanted to see um, who's ch struggling with challenge activities and how much time are they spending, well, here's somebody that got 8% of them and they spent 2.8 minutes. So probably not doing, spending a lot of time in there. Um, but then you may see people that are, um, you know, doing fine with not much time. And then the opposite might be true as well. So if you wanted to see um, who is spending a lot of time, uh, this might be too much time. So that can also be a concern, even though they're getting 100%, you know, this could be a burnout concern, that kind of thing. So um, that's all I have here. You can, oh, I will add, you can download these as an as a CSV and whatever shows here, if you have anonymize on, it will download the CSV with the, without the student names. So if you uncheck them, it will provide that.